What's up everybody and welcome. Today we are on a 34 Tierra LS. It's a brand new boat. It has a make fast shade in the very back of it. Uh, the control boxes went bad, so we have a new control box. So let me show you what we're doing. All right, so jump on the boat here. This is actually a shade that comes out. Once we fix it, we'll, we'll deploy it, make sure it's working. But underneath this track here, let's see if we can get it open. I think it just pops off. Oh, there she is. So after you pull that down, you'll have access to our control box here. Got a brand new one here. I'm gonna switch it out real quick and we'll see if it works. It's gonna be difficult to film me trying to do this up here in this hole. So I'm gonna switch it out and then I'll get back to you. And hey, welcome back. We actually have our old box here and our new ones put in. So here's the moment of truth. Let's see if it works. What you gotta do is push this button. It looks like it's working. Let's make sure it closes now, huh? Really cool feature on these boats. Well, it looks like everything's working. I'm actually gonna push the button probably five or 10 more times just to make sure nothing hiccups or it doesn't do anything funny. Then I gotta head back to the shop and see what we get into next. So I'll see you there. All right, we are leaving the shop to go to Dunedin Marina. All right, so we made it out to the marina. Well, let's find the boat. Pretty cool old marina. It's been here a long time. Secret code. And here's ours, the 33 SAV. Jump on. All right, let's go inside. See what's going on here. A couple complaints. The first one here is a shower door divider. The screws came out of it here, so I got nothing down here to hold it. I found the extra pieces, but I'm missing the screws on the other end. I'm gonna see if I might have some in Oscar. The van might have some in it, we'll find out. If not, what I'll do is rob a good one from here so I can at least put one here so we have at least put one here so I have good support on this side. If we're missing one and we'll have to get a couple more and put them back on here. No big deal, it happens. Boats rattle and they move around, so. The other issue we're having is this backrest here. It's supposed to move up and down. I ain't doing anything, it's kind of stuck in the halfway position, bed or seat. If you look underneath, You can't really see. There's some rams on each side that lift this up and down. All right, let me see if I can find some screws for the door. I don't know if I have them or not. If not, we'll make it work. And the bed behind me here, we'll, uh, I'll diagnose it and I'll show you what I find. Well, here's what I found. Here is our wires that are supposed to be connected to our switch here. And we have no power to our orange wire, which supplies power to our switch, so they work. Tracing it all down, it comes through here, followed it behind here, and it goes up. And it actually goes behind this panel back here. This is our uh, AC panel for our shore power, all that stuff. Definitely make sure you have that unplugged if you're ever going to get behind any of these panels because it's not fun to get electrocuted by AC. And here, though, we have a 15 amp fuse. And it is blown. Let me go get a new fuse, put our uh, switch back together, put our panel back in. We'll put the shower door together and I'll show you how everything works when I'm done. All right, we got our door fixed here. See our new uh, 
new screws back in there. And our seat right here works. It's actually pretty cool. It's a button right here. You push this and this seat goes up or down. You can either use it as a couch or you put it down it's back to a bed. All right, this one's all done. I'm gonna pack it up and uh, head to the next boat. So let's go. Well, we're made it to our last job here and uh, surprise, surprise, that's a 428 Pursuit. I've actually messed with maybe one of these boats. I gotta drop a few things off and check a few things, but uh, let's check it out. I'll check it out with you. I'm gonna start with the color here. I really like that color. Like a steel blue almost. Of course you have four 425s. Now they're starting to put our switches in the back here. Get a better view of the flag. The switches are in the back now instead of having to be at the dash. You come back here if you're using your fish boxes or live well, you just push them back here. It makes it a little easier. It's like, oh, it's like seating. Of course you got more seating here. This whole track, this whole thing right here moves back and forth. In order to access these, you can move it or you can sit here. It's pretty cool. It's on a track so you can push this thing forward if you'd like to. You can get stairs going up to the top. There are windows here. Pretty sweet little cabin. Of course, TV, you know, your bathroom. Let's see. Let's see what kind of. Ooh, nice. I haven't seen this yet. It's cool. Square. Square sink. Of course, full shower, everything. Everything you need. We got our panel for our AC stuff. Like storage. AC. Convection oven. I like the, uh, the pattern's real nice too. Good looking material there. I mean, look, the covers are even new. We got everything in the bag still. This thing is fresh off the press. Oh wow. Don't tie here, we got a hot water heater. Of course our fresh water, inverters, shower sumps. It's all of our water displacement for the boat for hot water and cold water. You can tell Pursuit uh, definitely knows how to build a boat and make things easy to work on. the usual jail audio I'm sure this thing sounds amazing I don't know what size the displays are but they look like they're like 24s or better I mean that's my hand yeah, it's probably 24 inch of course you got the newest Yamaha controls Yamaha autopilot this thing has zip wake which is really nice it's a auto trim tab control you just push a button and it'll do the roll and pitch for you of course the sea keeper control here i always thought this was cool too there's actually a window on the outside of the boat so that you can see out from the cabin all the way through but that was a unique idea so that you're not just blocked you're not blocked by the wall of the boat trying to look out. Also brings light in. In front of the boat you got the flur, night vision, radar, horns, TV antenna, all that fun stuff. These seats are pretty cool. I'm not gonna unwrap it, but it's got double double decker seats in the front. Take a look in here. Oh, there we go. Looks like we got our four starting batteries here. On this side, we got three house batteries. Got the old reversal pump down there, inverter. Actually, that's a cooler system for your uh, ice chest and all that kind of stuff. 
We got Cummins. That's an Onan, which is a really good generator too. Our dive door ladder. Easy access to all of our stuff here. Our strainers, all that kind of stuff. Behind this generator, you can't see it. There is a uh, sea keeper also. Close this. Another cool feature right here. This uh, door right here, you push a button and it folds down. So it's like a walk, walk out onto the water, or diving, whatever. It's also got the ladder bracket right there. So you got each side, you got a dive door on this side and a platform on that side you can lower. Well, there's a lot more features of the boat that I'm not showing you right now because I don't have a whole lot of time. I have to uh, do a few things and pack it up and call it a day. It is a nice boat. I'm excited to uh, be able to work on it here in the future. I'm sure there's going to be things here and there we got to do to it. So we have, I think, four or five of these out there right now. So you'll be seeing them through my videos for sure. That being said, I'm going to finish what I was doing and call it a day. See you tomorrow.